What's up guys, this is Matt Watson, ecstatic to once again be coming to you from Mornington, Australia, inside Tony the Transporter, for the first time in a long time. This past week I left my family, friends, and the camper van that I called Mo. Hey man, do you mind if I park here? In a Hail Mary attempt to escape Ontario, Canada's 20% surge in gas prices, only to discover this is in fact a global issue. Yeah, in hindsight, this plan might have been a touch rash. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. For the 99% of us that aren't driving a vehicle co-founded by a man whose name sounds like a fragrance, this sucks. But even though none of us dreamt of living in a rolling home that we cannot afford to roll, I am here today to polish this turd and explain why it's not the worst thing to happen to the van life community. But first, I gotta ask ya. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You wanted comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? Even though the price of gas has me wishing I would have done a conversion inside a Mini Cooper, at least I still have the option to drive around in my rolling home. Twice now, in the last five years, I have moved to a foreign country, fully intending on exploring it from top to bottom from inside of a van. And in both cases, my van ended up more stagnant than a sloth with access to Uber Eats and Netflix. 2017 through 2019, I lived in Edinburgh, Scotland, inside Burley the Berlingo, who broke down darn near immediately in my ex-girlfriend's apartment complex. Now, I've got a great lawyer, so in the breakup, I got to stay in the parking lot, and she got to move to France. Then I moved to Australia, and in March 2020, don't get ahead of me now. I bought this gem, Tony the Transporter, and parked him inside Metropolitan Melbourne, which, over the course of the pandemic, holds the record for being the most locked down city in the entire world. Amongst the many glamorous curfews and restrictions, they had police officers pulling vehicles over along the highway, checking their licenses, making sure they were no more than five kilometers away from their homes. Unfortunately, my Canadian driver's license would reveal I am 16,000 kilometers away from my home. So I was forced, once again, to stay put. The reason I tell you this is because in both cases, the moment the incident occurred, I was devastated. But as the months rolled on, I wouldn't have had it any other way. Having been rooted in Edinburgh, Scotland, not only allowed me to fall in love with the city, but so many of the people inside of it. Plus, I was able to contribute to their comedy scene in such a way that to this day, it is still one of the most fulfilling things that I've ever done in my career. Being rooted here in Mornington, Australia back in 2020 gave my heart the chance to find a love that's so strong, it brought me back here again today. Because of the way things played out in these two beautiful corners of the world, with or without a van, I've got a place to call home. Now, I know a lot of us nomads are like sharks where we can't breathe unless we're moving forward. So this might sound a little crazy, but to counteract the price that it now costs to move, my suggestion is move around a little less and choose your adventures more carefully. Spending extra time in one place will ground you and delaying the gratification of checking that next location off your list will guarantee you've always got something to look forward to. Maybe instead of rushing off from the small town to go get your picture in front of some famous monument so you can post it online and get fake love from a bunch of strangers, you stay, have a coffee, and make a real connection with just one. Instead of visiting a city by driving through it, park it in one suburb, stay for a while, and become a part of it. And wherever you are, just leave the van put. Get a fold-up bike like I do in the back here and take that out for some exercise. Or go by foot and then really notice the beauty in your surroundings. That's my plan anyway. And as oxymoronic as it sounds, living in a rolling home has taught me that staying put will only enrich your experience. And this time, regardless of gas prices, I'm staying put not because I'm trapped. I'm staying put by choice. Come on. Hey, you big ball of wonderful. By watching this video, you are already supporting me. So thank you so much for doing that. You want to go a little bit extra? Super easy. You can feel good about yourself because it really helps me out. Just give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and just send it to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He is hilarious. 
If you want to go the whole nine yards, you can sign up for my Patreon page linked in the description below. But that is it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next week.